Guys, quickly, like the video and comment down below, and I'm gonna give one of you a shout out in my next video. Today, I'll be showing you how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming. But quickly, before the video starts, if this video helps in any way, shape, or form, please consider subscribing to me. It's completely free, and you can always unsub later down the line. All it asks for is that chance. All right, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to get Windows 11, because I'm aware that not many people know they can get it yet. But all you need to do is go into your browser, type in Windows 11 download, and the top link will be this site right here, which is a Microsoft site. The link will be also in the description, but yes, you want to go here and simply press download now and it'll run you through it and you'll end up getting windows 11 it's that simple and now it's about optimizing it so for gaming you're going to want to change quite a few things so i'm going to show you right now all you want to do first of all go to your settings and this is where most of magic will happen first of all you're going to start with the system tab and we're going to go to notifications so what i would suggest you do is just turn them off completely the top bit here you can toggle on and off just turn them off having random notifications come up as you're playing it's just extra processes in the background they're going to get annoying they could potentially potentially tab you out of your game and they will slightly decrease performance so yeah turn these off you do not want them now going down to power here you want to change your power mode now it may not let you do it because it will say exactly this right here but to edit this all you want to do is type in edit power plan you then want to go back to power options and here you need to make sure you are on ultimate performance now for a lot of you you may not actually have this what you want to do is let you go back to your browser you want to search in ultimate performance power plan like so this is another thing i will link down below but on this first website you will find this code here again Again, it will be in the description, but you want to copy this code and you want to paste it into the command prompt. But make sure to run your command prompt as administrator. So when you're on here, literally paste this, press enter, and it's going to say power scheme ultimate performance. Now, once you have done that, when you go back here, you should now have the option. Just simply select this. And now once you've done that, we're going to go to storage. And I would recommend turning on storage sense. What this does, you know, it says here, it automatically frees up space and deletes your temp files, which is amazing because usually you'd have to do that yourself. You'd have to type in percent temp percent and then you'd have to delete all of these. But yeah, Windows 11 now does that for you. And you can even configure the settings in here. Honestly, I recommend keeping them as they are, but I guess it's subjective. And may I also add that Windows 11 also has cleanup recommendations. So if you click on this here, it tells you exactly what is taking up a lot of space. I have 50 gigabytes in my recycle bin. That's crazy to me. And even 32 of my downloads, I can just select both of these and I can clean up 82 gigabytes right here. I think things like this basically make applications like CCleaner completely useless now. And now moving down to to the personalization tab here you will have some very pretty wallpapers for windows 11 but quite honestly i'd recommend using a default theme now a default theme for windows 11 would be one of these ones they're like stock wallpapers but i'll select one of these themes but probably one which is in dark mode and i'll change your background to a solid color you can use either but i just select black i think it's a lot cleaner and it's very good for boosting performance but swiftly moving down to apps first of all we're going to go to apps and features here you are going to find all your applications the reason this is good is because i would recommend then going through and sorting out the applications you don't use. I know we just enabled that storage option, but it will not offload unused apps. So you will have to do that yourself. And I'm very certain you probably have a lot of games you no longer play, which are taking up valuable storage. And of course, the more storage you use, your PC will start running a lot slower. And especially for you SSD users, if your SSD starts to fill up, you're going to experience huge FPS drops in games like Fortnite. And also another thing to check out would be optional features. You can now see every optional feature, which is automatically downloaded on your OS. There's things like the notepad system. You can literally uninstall the notepad feature entirely. So, you know, when you right click your desktop, you press new and you can open up a text document, which is literally just a notepad like this. You can now uninstall that and save 705 kilobytes of data or even things like this, the maps recognizer. This takes 305 megabytes and it's pointless. And I think that is mainly it for the apps. Besides startup, you probably already know this, but make sure you turn anything unneeded off in here. There could be a lot of software that runs in the background and you don't even know about it. But finally, moving on to the last thing here i try to make this video as quick as possible but it's a gaming tab now what i would recommend is your game bar the xbox game bar turn this off you do not want this whatsoever it is going to mess up your frames so much and as for the game mode you do want this game mode is good game bar is bad you need to remember that but yeah just to clarify this right here needs to be turned on it will actually optimize your game but the game bar needs to be off if you really feel you need this a good alternative would be g4 shadow play which you will need an nvidia graphics card for or I'm sure you can just find a good alternative on Google. And with that all being said, I think that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this in any way, shape, or form, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I hope everyone has an amazing day. It's been your boy Fetch, and yeah, peace.